Hello, this is Loredana and today I will continue to present the Pipeline JavaScript environment, this time with the Web3 DAP Builder from a Pipeline graph. I already have a graph here from Smart Contract Function ABIs and I have imported our Pipeline libraries for managing the graph, showing the graph and constructing the Solidity source code from the graph and creating the JavaScript source code for interacting with the Smart Contracts called in the graph, which we are going to demonstrate today. So this is the graph from which we are starting from. And notice that we have seven inputs because our graph is not properly connected. We can also run the graph and I have a simple form here constructed from the graph data. Now let's see the JavaScript source code. And again, we have many inputs for our function. So let's connect the graph. We are going to use the same product ID for all of our three functions. Get the quantity from the calculate quantity function into the buy function. And the way value is the same. So let's run the source code builder. And see the new JavaScript source code. So we have the three inputs. The vendor address that we get from the get vendor function is used in the calculate quantity function here and in the buy function here and so on. Now our form to run the graph also has three inputs. So let's try it out. And the result will be in this web3.js result variable which is now empty. Now the last node is a payable transaction, so we are prompted to confirm it. And if we look in Web3.js result, we see the output from our graph, which is the transaction data that was sent. And we can also do and get the receipt of the transaction. We will be adding more pipeline and D-type tools to this development environment and make it available for public use. So stay tuned. Thank you for watching. Check out our other demos and subscribe for more updates.